All right, this is the 10 minute warm up, and uh, this is the sequence this time is going to take this pretty heavily into the hips. So, to start this off, just come to a seat, have your hands down behind you. You can lean back as far as you like, and we're going to do a leg lift off to the side. So, I've got both hands down, I'm going to bend my elbows, keep my chest pulling forward, right foot down, extend the left leg up to where you can. You can bend the knee if you need to, but then you bring your left foot out to the side and lift back up, bring it down for two. Lift back up, down for three, lift back up, down for four, lift back up, down for five, lift back up and switch left foot down, right leg high. Now bring the right foot to the side for one and then lift back up, down for two, lift back up, down for three, lift back up, down for four and lift up, down for five. Lift back up and switch right foot down, left leg high. And again, lean back as much as you need. You can always bend any. Bring the foot down for one. Lift back up. Down for two. Lift back up. Down for three. Lift back up. Down for four. And lift back up. Down for five. Lift back up. And then set your left foot down, right leg high. Bring your right foot down for one. Lift back up. Down for two. Lift back up. Down for three, lift back up. Down for four, lift up. Down for five, lift back up. And then right foot down, one more round, left leg high. Bring the foot down for one, lift back up. Down for two, lift back up. Down for three, lift back up. Down for four, lift back up. Down for five, lift back up. And set the foot down one more time on the other side, right leg high. Bring the foot down for one, lift back up, down for two, lift back up, down for three, lift back up, down for four, lift back up, down for five, lift back up, and set both feet down, shake your legs out for a moment. And from seated, we're going to take this right to reverse tabletop, so I'm just turning for the camera here. Feet about hips width, hands behind the shoulders, shoulder width, palms down, fingertips forward as you can. You can always rotate to the side, but press down, just lift your seat up off the floor. And let's go up and down, press your hips up high, squeeze your glutes, and then sink back down. Lift your hips, and then come back down. Press up high again, sink back down, lift this up, and then come down. Now bring it up one more time and hold. So keep your glutes squeezing, keep lifting. You can look forward, look up, or hang your head back. Press into your heels, pull your heels toward your hands and try to push the hands forward. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, come down. Now shake your hands out for just a moment. I'm gonna take this back up with a figure four. So feet, hips width to start, hands behind the shoulders, whatever rotation you need. And then lift your seat up off the floor. Bring your left foot towards center, right ankle over your left thigh. Curl the toes of the right foot and keep the knee to the side. Now press your hips up for one, come back down, lift for two, come back down. Now press up a third time and we're going to hold here. So keep your glutes squeezing, you can look wherever you like, but try to press the right knee toward the floor even as the glutes are squeezing. Just breathe with us for a moment. Take an inhale and then with the exhale, bring it down. Shake your hands out for a moment again. Let's take the other side. So set your feet, set the hands behind you, lift up. Bring the right foot to center, left ankle over your right thigh this time. Curl the toes of your left foot. Press your hips up for one and then come down. Lift up for two. Bring it down. Now press up a third time and hold. Keep your glutes squeezing, but still press the left knee toward the floor. Just breathe with this here. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring it all down. Take a moment, shake your hands out a little bit. And then once you're ready, it's cross at the ankles, roll forward your hands. And we'll take a little bit of bridging from here. So knees out a little bit wider than your hips, big toes point toward each other. Walk your hands back, come down to your heels. Now we're going to bridge from here, which means you're going to have to kick your feet down and squeeze your glutes as you press the hips up and forward. Hands behind the shoulders, try to stay light and try to stay on the fingertips. And let's go back and forth. Kick into the floor, squeeze your glutes, lift up, let your head fall back. And then sink back down. Kick into the floor, lift up for two. And then come back down. Kick down, squeeze your glutes, bring it up, come back down. Kick into the floor, lift up, let your head fall back, 
and then bring it down. One more time, kick into the full lift up, hold here. Now keep your feet kick, kick, kicking down, keep your glutes squeezing. You can let your head fall back. If you can take it further, as you kick down, try to just hover the fingertips up off the floor. And then bring it all down. Once you're down, bring your hands forward, come into all fours, move around a little bit side to side, loosen up your low back. And then from all fours, let's take this into the wrist a little bit further. So palms down, rotate your fingertips to the side and then in toward your knees. Take it as far as you can in that direction. Spread the fingers wide, dig your fingertips down into the floor, press your spine up toward the ceiling. Sway your shoulders side to side as you're gripping the floor. And then to take this further, I want to take this into scapular push-ups, which means you just move between the shoulder blades. So pull your belly and keep it pulled in. Keep the arms straight, fingertips pressing down. And then just bring your chest to the floor low as you can without the elbows bending. And then press your spine up toward the ceiling. And just keep going down and up like this. So you're just moving between the shoulder blades. Let them squeeze together when you sink down and spread apart when you press back up. And it's a subtle movement. It might be hard to figure this out. You can circle a little bit between the shoulders, but keep your belly pulled in. And if you want to take it further, you can step back to plank, keep your body in the line, and still just have that movement up and down between the shoulder blades. All right, if you lift the knees, set them down. Come up onto the fingertips, and then bring yourself down to your heels, shake your hands out a little bit. Now we're going to take this back to all fours. So wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips to set this up. Now keep your chest facing down, reach the crown of your head straight forward, and then reach forward through the right arm and extend back through your left leg. Stretch out through the fingertips and toe tips. Now take an inhale. Exhale, squeeze in, elbow to knee underneath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee one more time. Now with the right hand, reach and find your left foot. Once you have that grip, kick into your hand, look forward, pull the right shoulder forward, lift your left knee high, and hold this. Now, kick the right foot into the floor, grip with your left hand, and as best you can, bend the left elbow back. Sink down, maybe bring the elbow down to the floor, and then lift back up, keep your left knee high. Pull the elbow back, sink down for two. Lift back up. Pull the elbow back, sink down for three. Lift back up. Pull the elbow back, sink down for four. Lift back up. Pull the elbow back, sink down for five. And then lift up. Release. Come into all fours. And we'll take this on the other side. So again, wrist at the shoulders, knees and your hips. Just look down, extend the crown of the head forward. Reach your left arm forward, extend your right leg back. Now take an inhale. Exhale, squeeze in, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee one more time. Now with your left hand, reach and find the right foot. Once you have that grip, look forward, kick into your hand, pull your shoulder forward, and bring that right knee up high. And then back and forth here, grip the floor with the right hand, keep your balance. Pull the right elbow back, maybe come down all the way. Lift back up the straight. Right elbow back, sink down low. And then lift up for two. Pull the elbow back, sink down again. Lift up for three. Pull the elbow back and sink down. Lift up for four. Pull the elbow back, sink down. Lift up for five. And then release, come back to all fours. And then one more thing here. I want to take this into a lopsided setup. So from all fours, just keep your hips stacked over your knees. And bring the right forearm down. Now right elbow to the side, move your right hand to center. Slide your left hand back, keep the elbow above the wrist and keep the elbow pulled in. Now put the weight to the right knee, hover the left. Bring the left knee out to the side, lift it high and keep it lifted, keep your toes pointed left. With an inhale, extend that leg straight back. Exhale, knee to left shoulder, bring it in close. Inhale, the left leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder. Inhale, the left leg back. Now exhale, knee to shoulder and press that left leg down into your arm and keep your chest facing down. Now take it further. Tuck the toes of your right foot, lift your right knee, hold here. Left leg presses into your left arm. And then as you hold, just sink the right hip to the floor as low as you can. Lift back up. Bring your hip down for two. Lift back up. Sink your hip down for three. 
Lift back up. Bring the hip down for four. Lift back up. Bring the hip down for five. Lift back up. Maybe extend your left leg if you want to try. And then release. Bring the right knee down, left knee down. Come back up to all fours. And we'll take that on the other side. So once you're ready, come down onto your left forearm this time. Left elbow to the side. Move that hand to center. Slide the right hand back. Keep the elbow above the wrist and keep your elbow pulled in. And then put the weight to your left knee. Hover the right. Right knee to the side. Lift it high. And then keep the toes pointed right. With an inhale, extend that leg back. Exhale, knee to right shoulder. Inhale the right leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder. Inhale the right leg back. Exhale, knee to shoulder one more time. Press the right leg into your arm. Keep your chest facing down. Now, as you hold this, keep your chest facing the floor. Tuck the toes of your left foot. Hover the left knee. And then go back and forth with the left hip. Sink that left hip low. And then lift back up. Bring the hip down for two. Lift back up. Bring the hip down for three. Lift back up. Bring the hip down for four. Lift back up. Bring the hip down for five. Lift back up. Maybe extend your right leg. And then release this. Both knees down. Come back up onto your hands. And then that is the 10-minute warm-up for this week. Thank you very much.